And we are live, kicking it off. This is Eric here from Exclusive Design by Emporium, home of Bernie B, our famous mascot. We're just getting things set up and waiting for people to jump into the live stream and we will get stuff started. Just getting things set up and waiting for people to and turn off the volume on my computer. And we will get stuff started. This is fun. Alrighty. Okay, so now I can see what you can see. And again, we're just going to wait and see who comes into the chat room. I'm going to have a little drink of water here. While we are waiting, if you are watching this post session, I'm going to be talking about glassware that I have made. Uh, I had a huge production run today in the studio. I will not be able to show it to you until next week. But if you sign up at Emporium, the place to be on Facebook, or send me an email, it's located right at the bottom of the screen, exclusive design by Emporium at Outlook.com. You can send me an email if you have any questions or want to learn more about my glass. I do have a website, exclusive design by Emporium.com. What you are going to notice this week is the website itself is going to start growing. You're going to start seeing new product added weekly, and it's all going to be new product like the Fenton and Verlise vases that I have been producing. So when you check on into the room, give us a shout. Let us know you're here. Again, I'm going to be kind of moving things around, getting stuff situated prior to the start of the show. I know that this vase looks crooked. It's the angle of the camera, and it could also be the stands that I have it on. It is actually straight up and down. But I notice it looks very funny in the picture, like it's tilting, but it is not a tilted picture. Let's see if we can move it and make it look normal. It's normal. I promise you it is normal. Well, there's one person in the room, and I know that one person is me. Uh, while we are waiting, I know I'm going to have to repeat this if you've been watching this at some point in the future. But I have started production on blown mold vases that I purchased either directly from Fenton or I searched out and sourced Fenton vases that others had bought that they were willing to sell. You're actually looking at one of the pieces right now. This is the Verlise Eglantine vase. Eglantine is a fr old French term for the sweetbriar bush, or a, it's a thorny rose bush. And this vase is covered with flowers and stems. Uh, this is a piece that will be sold this evening, along with other select pieces that I will be showing you. I also will be talking about the vases that were made today and letting you know the pricing and when those will be available. One nice thing that I include with all of my hand-blown works is a card. I'm going to hope it's up a little closer so that you can see it. I know it looks backwards on your screen. I forgot to turn on the mirror ring. But I always provide a card that has some information about the piece that you have purchased a little bit about the history of it, and then I give you the model number, the name, the color number for reference, and then also the known measurements. And that way, if in the future you want to sell the vase, or maybe you'd like to get another one made, if the color is available, you would be able to let me know and we could get that vase made for you. I see we have had somebody join the room. If you want to say hi, I'll be able to see. We've got two people watching. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the show. I'm glad you tuned in. We're just kind of marking time till we get a few more people signed in. Uh, if you want to say hi, I cannot see who it is that's in the room. Oh, well, Lindsay, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. I do have one vase up, Lindsay. This here is one of the pieces we're going to be talking about tonight and selling, but you can enjoy this while 
everybody is getting ready for the show. I'm going to start in a few minutes, and then if I need to backtrack, I will. The beautiful thing about this show is I get to be sitting the whole time. Uh, I was in the glass studio today for over six hours. We were working with the molds and blowing glass. We were able to make almost 40 vases. I'm really excited with the quantity that we were able to produce today. But that's a lot of work and a little tired. But I'm also very excited to be here. Very excited to be here. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm just going to start talking. I'm sure some more people will join us. And again, we'll start with this face right here. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Verlise of America company, it actually was a company that started in France, and they were called the Halifane Glass Company. And they made a corporate decision in the late 1920s they wanted to create molds and glass that would compete with Berlice and Sabino and other fine art glass makers of the day. And they, in 1931, created a series of vases that were produced. Move forward a few years, they decided to open a factory in America and they named the company Verlise of America. And that's where we get the Verlise name from. This mold that you see right here is called Eglantine. This is one of the molds that was sent to America to be used. Uh, to the records that I have had access to and in reading a book about release glass, this mold was only produced in 1938. So it has been 85 years since this vase has been made available to the public. And it was only made in crystal. Crystal and uh, what they call frosted or satinized crystal. Uh, so it's pretty neat to see these vases come to life in color. This is a special color treatment for Emporium. It's called Navarre Blue. And we named it Navarre Blue because of the beautiful beaches that are here in Florida and the crystal blue water. And you can see it's got a beautiful color. We tried doing a, oh, I should hold it down. We tried doing a Marini type treatment on the surface, a Vasa Marina, I'm sorry, Marini, a Vasa Marina treatment by adding a little bit of extra color on the surface, which were different shades of blue. Uh, it did not quite work. You will notice, I shouldn't say it didn't work, it's a beautiful base. You'll notice the bottom has been signed. And what I have done is name the release vases are now going to be called Release by Emporium. Uh, this vase itself is nine inches tall, approximately seven inches wide. Again, it's a, a Vasa Marina type treatment over the Navari blue glass. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful vase. While we're waiting for people to come in, I'm going to cycle through the vases. So at least, Lindsay, you can see stuff while you're here. Uh, so we're going to put this vase down. And everybody is always asking for a jade color. And we have one for you right here. This is the same vase, Eglantine, done in jade. I'll bring it a little closer so that you can see. On this one, you can see the pattern a little bit better. In person, it shows up very well. It's kind of hard uh, through a video camera to show the colors. But this would be the jade green of the Eglantine vase. Again, beautiful size, beautiful shape. Yeah, it's a very vibrant, vibrant green. Uh, let me show you another color that we have done this piece in. And I think you will flip. We did this in a Christmas red. Again, you can see the beautiful patterning. 
the uh, glass, it's not opaque and it's not completely clear. There is a little opaqueness to this red, but you can see through it. So you can see, you can see the shadow of my hand behind the vase, but it's not completely clear. There is a slight opaqueness to the red. I'm really pleased with how the red color came out. I think this is going to be a very popular color uh, with everybody. For the Eglantine vases, these are going to be priced at $119.95 each plus shipping. And they're going to ship out at between three and four pounds. Uh, the box will be generally about a 10 by 10 by 12 box for shipping. Oh, thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, it is a pretty piece. It's a very pretty piece. I have a feeling we're going to be making a lot of red bases year round. I don't think it's just going to be for Valentine's Day and Christmas. Uh, but that is it for the Eglantine bases. Those are the colors that we have right now. We did make another color today. I'm not able to show it to you. It's still in the annealing oven. Uh, the oven, I checked it right before I came online. It's still 600 degrees, which means everything is too hot to come out. But I will start showing photographs tomorrow on my web page. It'll be tomorrow evening because we are working in the studio tomorrow. I'll have pictures on my website at exclusive design by Emporium.com and I will also be updating Emporium the place to be my chat group that is on Facebook. So let me put this piece down and we're going to talk about another base. This one you have heard about but you may not recognize the shape because Fenton did not present it this way. Give everyone a chance to look at it. This this, by the way, is the Navarre Blue. All of the vases that you're going to see tonight are going to be made in this beautiful oceanic blue color. It is completely transparent, very clear. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. If you put it on a lighted base, it really brings out the color. It's quite striking. I have a photograph of it on my Facebook page the Emporium, the place to be page. But this vase uh, originally came from Fenton Art Glass, and it is the poppy uh, vase that they would use to create those pastel baskets that you've seen everywhere. There was pink, blue, and lime green. They were satinized and kind of looked like a popcorn bucket. They did a, a basket with a handle and then they did a large open straight sided vase. How they altered this shape and blew it out into that larger shape I do not know but this is the original shape of the mold. They also would use this piece for the collector clubs, glass collector clubs. They generally would make this into a rose bowl and do a carnival treatment. So to my knowledge, this is the first time that this vase is being presented in this fashion. What I think is really interesting is the base of it. Let me hold it up so you can see a little bit better. It almost looks like it's sitting on its own uh, pedestal, like it's lifted up off the table. It's really attractive. Put it on my hand so that you can see. It, it really looks like it's lifted up off the ground. And I will come closer so that you can see that beautiful, clear, ocean blue color. Again, the color is called Navarre. It is unique to Emporium. Uh, it's a very special color that we have come up with and is not available anywhere else. But this is the Poppy Show Base. This will retail at $84.95. Uh, the measurements, this is 7 inches tall, approximately 5 inches wide. So it's a pretty good size. Uh, to give you an idea, my hand is 4 inches tall, so 4, 7. It's got a nice heft to it. It does kind of look like a globe off a lamp. A miniature one. This would make a wonderful lamp base also. If you know people that 
love turning things into lamps. This would be a dynamite piece. Now we also did this in the Vasa Marina treatment. Uh, let me bring this up here. If you want to see a completely different look, this is the Navarre blue color, and we added an additional layer of colored frit. It's different shades of blue. I'll bring this up so that you can see. We just wanted to do something really attractive and pretty. And again, all these vases, it does not matter what the color is or the treatment, they're all priced the same. This will be $84.95 plus shipping uh, for this piece. You can see how beautifully it sits on a table. It's got a wonderful shape. Uh, right now, we have it made in two colors. There will be a third color that will be introduced tomorrow. But this will give you an idea of the two different shades of blue. This is the clear Navarre blue. And then this one will be the Vasa Marina overlay. It's a frick color that was placed over the Navarre blue. And it really changes the look. It makes it look more like a deep ocean color. So let me put these down. And then we had some fun with the vase. Ah, uh, Fenton, boy, that's dark on camera. Fenton created this pattern. It's a copy of a very old sandwich glass pattern. I'm going to put this color down and bring up one of the clear ones. You'll be able to see the sandwich pattern better. It has been copied by different glass houses. Ellie Smith did a version of this and called it Oh, sunshine and something. Uh, but Ellie Smith did a version of this vase. Uh, classically, it's called the Stoddard Vase for Stoddard, Massachusetts. We had a little visitor in there that is now gone. Uh, anyway, this vase is approximately eight inches tall. And we have done uh, kind of a handkerchief treatment. What we did was spin it out so it would open up and then we let it hang vertically upside down and it creates this kind of curtain handkerchief fold. And this is the what we are going to call the Stoddard vase and you can see the pattern. Sunshine and diamonds, that's what Ellie Smith called it. Sunshine and diamonds. But we are calling it Stoddard, its original name. Let me put this down. We also had a little bit of fun and made this into a whimsy. We did the exact same thing, open the top. Now this has a bid on it of $40. But we are doing offer up for these whimsies. Uh, this one is up to $40, but the other three that are available are at an offer up start at $25. Let me set this one down, and I'm going to get two other bases. back folks be right back
and here we go. I am back. So we have another whimsy. This is more flared than the first one. I will bring the first one up also so that you can see both. Lindsay, it looks like it's you and me tonight. You and me. I don't mind. But I'm going to set these down. And Lindsay, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and type them out in the comment section. I, I love answering questions. Here is that Stoddard base done as a traditional base style. And again, it is perfectly straight across the top horizontal cut. It looks a little funky because of the camera and the angle. This is a reducing cobalt blue. You can see as I bring this up, there's a little bit of shimmer on the surface. There's not as much on this piece as ended up on this whimsy. You can see there's a lot of iridescent shine on the surface. This metallic effect is created by the metals that are actually in the glass that we melt. And as we are finishing the piece, the very last step is we hit it with a very hot blowtorch and the heat on the glass causes the metals to come to the surface where they sit and give us that gorgeous shine. But let me just set this Stoddard base here for everybody to enjoy. Lindsay, how's your evening going tonight? We can have awkward silence because there's there's nobody in the room, but there will be. Somebody watching this in the future is going to think that this is a fantastic show. Let me move on and show you something else that I have done. I don't know if you saw these before, but I have altered the shape of the Caprice vase a little bit and made it into a tiny shell vase. There was a little bit of a neck on the piece which I have trimmed off. Uh, the color mix for this piece is called Spring Mix. It's all very light pastel colors. The Caprice vase was originally a Cambridge Glass Company piece. Uh, these came to Fenton in the 1980s when Imperial closed. Imperial glass had ended up with some of the Cambridge glass pieces. But here's one that I trimmed off. It's just about four inches tall. It's a cute little vase. This would look great on a desk. It would look really good on a desk or in a windowsill. And then the other color that we have is kind of an orange blend. There's a little bit of yellow in here that you will notice. But a very fiery orange. No, these have nothing. They're perfectly flat, as you can see. It's just a straight top. Oh, did. I'm sorry. It's, I can't even read. <laughs> uh, when Fenton had them, uh, Fenton put a cramp or a ruffle on everything. Uh, when, when Cambridge Glass Company was doing them, they did what's called the fountain top. It came up and just kind of flared out a little bit. Uh, but Fenton would have had a crimp on here. And yeah, these are great spring colors. They'll do very well all the way through spring, or spring, through Easter. cycle through and bring one of these eglantine vases back up. 
I don't know if this is going to show. I want to try to see if you can capture the signature. No, you won't be able to see it. Uh, all of these pieces I have hand inscribed the bottom. They say Verlise by Emporium. I put 2023 for the year on them. And then, of course, each vase receives a card with information uh, about the piece, where it came from, the name of the color. I hand sign each card, so you get my autograph, too. Uh, these Caprice faces would look really good with a, a little votive candle dropped in. They're really cute. They are really cute. Uh, no, Lindsay, that's fine. For the Caprice vase, it will be $20, $25 if you wanted this. It's a smaller piece. It's it's very simple for us to make. So we're offering these up at $25. And that would be for the pink or the orange. Uh, any of these ones where the top is trimmed. I do have another orange one. And I'm looking to see if I have another with these spring mix colors. So this is the other orange and give me just one moment. Let's step away and I'm going to check. Lindsay, I actually do have two more. And they look a little different. So, and I'll explain the difference. This is the first one. And you can see the colors are very soft. We tried doing a bunch of different uh, color amounts. This one, you can see the color is a little stronger. It's much more vibrant. It's not a pastel color. And then the last piece that we have we did the color treatment different. This one, the frit color was added as the outside layer, which makes it extremely visible. And now you can see how strong those spring mix colors are. So we have everything from extremely pale to a very strong color. And Lindsay, you know I've got my email address right on the bottom of the screen. It's exclusive design by Emporium at Outlook.com. You can always send me an email uh, if you do decide to buy any of the product or these small shell bases. Just let me know, uh, and we I will invoice you through PayPal or Square, whichever you prefer. The second one, yes, you can. This is number two. And I actually have a number on this. Pardon me, Lynch. Uh, this one is numbered 203. This one is numbered, the very lightest one is num numbered 210. This one is numbered 203. And then the brightest one with the most amount of color is numbered 201. That way, if you write those down, uh, you can just let me know the number, and we'll take care of that for you. Let me move some of these pieces out of the way. Two ten. All righty. And 
just confirming this is the 210. That's the first one that you noticed. I will mark this one down for you. And Lindsay, if you could pop me an email to the exclusive design by empowerment outlook.com, I would appreciate it. Yes. I'm, I'm asking more because I'm going to go to bed tonight and I'll forget everything, I promise you. <laughs> it was a very long day. Uh, I may not be able to get back to you till tomorrow night. Again, as I was saying, we're, we're doing production tomorrow and I have to open up the studio which means I get there about an hour and a half before the first workshop happens because there's a lot of work to do to get the studio set up for the day. So it's, it's kind of a long day that I love. But yeah, just put, if you don't mind, uh, just pop an email to me, please. What color eglantine do you want to look at again? Which one did you like the most, the red, the green, or the blue? This show's all about you. show off the red for a while. Lindsay, what do you think of this color? I think this is when you did the heart emoji, didn't you? Oh no, uh, we have, I tried to pull an example, but all I have is a leftover pumpkin. This is the Verlise butterfly vase. That one is about four and a half inches tall. Uh, this is what we were working on today as a vase, not as a pumpkin. But I will be able to, when you email me, I can actually send you pictures of these when they're done. Uh, I can send you pictures of these pieces. These are nice, cute little uh, vases. And then I have the vase that Fenton called the um, dragonfly. I have that vase also. And that is a small one. That's about five and a half inches tall. Uh, they're not real big. But we made these into pumpkins for the fall season. And this one was so pretty, I did not want to sell it. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> I was talking to a glass friend about it. I said, there's one that's so pretty, I don't want to sell it. And he said, well, you control the market. <laughs> if you don't want to sell it, just keep it. And I thought, you know what? I can keep one thing. Uh, the butterfly and the grasshopper, which is actually a moth vase, uh, those are going to be the same price as the poppy. They'll be $84.95 a piece. Uh, those, I'm not doing big production numbers on those. I would imagine we'll end up with 100 or less of any color. Uh, I, want, I would rather keep them more rare and make less of them because they're so beautiful. I just, I don't think they should be mass produced. I'm trying to do small quantities, small batch. Uh, in the studio, we can make about 10 to 12 per session. And then we have a lot of other things that we need to make. So we cycle everything through. This week just happened to be these pieces. Next week, it'll be something completely different. Uh, we, you never know what we're going to be uh, putting into the live sale or adding to the website. But I can uh, email pictures of these pieces as they come out of the annealing oven. I can at least get you a picture so that you can see how pretty they are. They really are nice. It's, it's so hard with glass making that you have to take everything and put it away overnight and you don't get to see it finished until the next day. But that's why you learn patience. Absolute patience. 
you know what? This was a lot of fun. Lindsay, I'm glad you tuned in. I don't see that anybody else has entered the chat room. I'm going to go ahead and end tonight's live sale because I don't think 35 minutes in that anybody knew was going to join. But I am so pleased. Let me read your message here. Oh, the new glass. Uh, yes, give me something new to talk about. Uh, I am working on that. What I have to do with the new glass, we need to get what are called melt pots. Because I, I actually have to melt that glass in a kiln in order to use it. Uh, I have sourced where I'm going to get the pots from. It will be a few weeks, but I am going full steam ahead to get those color pots so that I can start putting the Fenton collet in them and get the Fenton collet melted. And then all the pieces that you see here, everything that I make will be made with Fenton glass. So I'm very excited. Thank you for asking that. Uh, because we were just talking about it today. We, I got a little tiny pot and I'm going to use that for pieces that I want to do a cased edge like silver cross with Fenton. Uh, I, I have a smaller pot where I can do a separate color, and if we want to add a little stripe of something, I'll be able to do it. So I'm, I am very excited about that. But I want to get that glass moving. I bought that, oh my goodness, over the summer. I've had it for a really long time, but I was not able to work. As you know, I had that double hip replacement surgery. I'm doing really good. This is the first week that I've been able to actually walk. And I was amazed today. I was able to work in the studio for six hours. And I went home, rested for a little bit, had some dinner, and then came right back to do the live sale. So I am feeling much better. And I cannot wait to start melting that thin glass. But I'm going to go ahead and end the session. This was kind of fun. It was like a one on one with me. But I will be back next Monday. I'm going to do this every single Monday at 9 o'clock. I'll be doing a live sale, and we always try to make something new that nobody knows about just for the live sale. And I will see you all next week. Thank you, and I'm out. Thank you so much.